Customs of the Tagalogs by Juan de Plasencia. Juan de Porto Carrero, also known as Juan de Plasencia, was a Spanish friar of the Franciscan order. He was believed to have arrived in the Philippines in 1578. Juan de Plasencia is known to author several religious and linguistic books, notably Doctrina Christiana, which is the first book published in the Philippines. He also founded several towns in Luzon, such as Tayabas and Lukpan. Arrival of Plasencia Fray Juan de Plasencia came together with the first batch of Franciscan missionaries in the Philippines. Arrived at a port in Cavite, a few kilometers south of Manila on the 2nd of July 1578. As soon as he arrived, he started preaching in the towns of Luzon. The Customs of Tagalogs was written only two months of his arrival in Manila on 1589. He was tasked by the King of Spain to document the customs and traditions of the colonized native based on arguably his own observations and judgments. The goal was to discover these things, non-contradictionary and functional meaning for each Filipino term used in the Spanish account. The Placentia tried to avoid discussing the conflicting reports of the Indians through an informed observation to obtain the simple truth, which he without much foolishness in regard to the government administration of justice, inheritance, slaves, and dowries. The Content Analysis and Chieftain Datu, those who roll, obey, and revere the chief commander of war, nobles or maharlika, they are not packed since they were born free commoners o aliping na mamahay. They are the rulers of their property and wealth living in their town homes. Slaves, they might be sold after serving their lord in his resident and farm fields. Barangay, a family of parents and children, relations, and slaves. Houses are made of wood, bamboo, and nipopom. Meals wear headgear called putong, which symbolizes the number of persons the wearer had killed. For upper wear, they have kangan and bahag for the lower wear. For the females, the upper wear is kamisa or baro and saya for the lower wear. The unit of government is called barangay, which is ruled by a chieftain. Consists of 30 to 100 families together with the relatives and slaves. The chieftain's executive function includes implementing laws, ensuring order, and giving protection. They worship many gods and goddesses. They have Vathala, the supreme being, Edayanale, god of agriculture, Sidarapa, god of death, Agni, god of fire, Balangaw, god of rainbow, Mandarangan, god of war, Lalahon, god of harvest, and Sigi Narangan, god of hell. They believe in a swang, duende, capre, tikbalang, and tiana. They also believe in magical power of amulets and charms, such as antinganting, kulam, and gayuma. Many of the 16th century beliefs and practices are still present today. Filipinos already had a government and living a rich culture, and that people back then were already facing injustice amongst the evident social classes. It became the basis for Spanish laws and policies in the Philippines. Placentia's Code on the Ancient Customs of the Tagalogs serves as the basis as it is a record of the beliefs and practices of the Filipinos during the pre-Hispanic era.